how to use Grammarly AI, emails, essays, and more. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the new Grammarly AI integrated tools. So let's get into it. Now, everyone has heard of Grammarly, but Grammarly now has AI assistance added to it. Now, this can be a great stepping stone into improving your writing, into improving your vocabulary, into improving the sentence structures, tones, and the overall impact of your conversations. Not only that, but this can be great for students, for people that are looking to write with, you know, supervisors, if you're looking to write an academic tone, this can be a great way to further optimize that as well. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is head on over to Grammarly.com. And once you're on Grammarly.com, you're going to click on get Grammarly over here and you're going to sign up to Grammarly. So I'm just going to continue with my Google account over here to proceed to Grammarly. Now, it's very simple to sign up for Grammarly and it is available for free. They do have certain plans, which I will be discussing later on as well. But as you guys can see, you don't have to pay. You can just get started for free. Now, as you guys can see, there is a basic dashboard on Grammarly. Then in your Grammarly section, you're going to have your Grammarly premium section over here where you can get started with the premium plans of Grammarly. Then you have your account section and you can upload documents over here as well as write new documents. Then you have your basic account and app section as well. So in your account, you just have your account info. And then in the app section, you can download the application for Grammarly directly into your desktop to be able to use it and, you know, use it all the time and be able to integrate it as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on new over here and we're going to get started with a new document. And once we have done this, you guys will see there is going to be a suggestion to write better papers faster with the Grammarly Go. Now, the Grammarly Go is basically your AI. So this is what your basic text section is. And this is your prompt section, the Grammarly Go section. So over here, I can type whatever I want. Let's say I'm looking to build a presentation or, you know, a report on intelligence versus creativity like this. And then we can, you know, add some more info over here. You guys can see Grammarly is picking out, you know, clarity, engagement, delivery. But now let's say I don't know what I want to do with, you know, the rest of this. So I want this to be knowledgeable. I want this to be formal and I want this to be the intent to be informative. And let's say I want the tone to be neutral. And then I'm going to click on done over here. Now I want to get started with writing and all I have to do is go and do Grammarly Go. And once I do that, I can set the voice. So if how you want your text to be i want this to be neutral and i want the tone of this to be personable direct and confident and then after that i want to choose the profession so let's say we are a student and then we have our english we're gonna choose british english and click on use this voice now i want to add a write a report on iq versus creativity in the educational context like this and then it's going to get started with writing now once you provide a basic structure so if you are not satisfied with the overall performance what i recommend is actually asking it to draft an outline so draft an outline for the topic of iq versus creativity and make it detailed and long and now it's going to generate an outline for us. So you guys can see that it's generating our outline and now we can customize this outline. So once we have our outline, we can copy this outline into our Grammarly board. So we're going to copy and paste it over here. And now I'm just going to, you know, restructure it, obviously. But once we have our basic outline, I'm just going to space this out. You can just space it out like this over here. And you can even just click on insert to make this easier instead of having to space items out unless you're, you know, changing the positions of items. You don't need to, you know, change how you insert it. You can just insert it as it is. So I'm just going to keep it over here. 
something like this so now that you have outline you can ask it to write upon a certain section so i want this to write upon this certain section like this so i can click on command c command v write four paragraphs on each of these sections like this so now it's going to get started with writing our report and then we can further improve it as well so let's say i want to you know i find this paragraph to be okay but let's say i just want it to make the outline more professional and a higher academic level include theories like this so now that i've given it a different kind of prompt over the same topic it's going to generate a different outline so instead of just focusing on basic items it's going to focus more on you know different items improving the overall outline making it more oriented towards your purpose so the better you detail your prompt you can even ask it to generate prompts for you but the more detailed your prompt is the better you will have your outlines and your text now not only can this be used for essays as well as marketing purposes but this can be used for emails as well so let's say i want to send a cold outreach so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to Grammarly Go and I'm going to ask it to write a cold outreach template for me to send as a video editor to the central clients I've found on the internet. Reference my portfolio and you can add the link to your portfolio over here. Website like this so now you guys can see our template has been generated you guys can see i have added a basic section where you know the ai has added a basic section about you know talking about them saying how they like their work this is actually one of the best ways to get started is to obviously whenever you're doing cold outreach you want to compliment the other person first because that indicates that you actually looked at their work so you want to make sure that you add that then you have you know some basic information i specialize in creating videos that not only care but can be a message and then you can add your certain skills so let's say i want to make it more persuasive under in these suggestions now using these suggestions i can further improve my emails as well so let's say i want to make it more detailed so now the template is going to be more detailed i don't recommend sending long emails but just to show you guys how grammarly can do this for you and grammarly is now generating a longer more persuasive email to send to your client so just like that you have a template ready and you can just further customize this whenever you have to send it to a certain potential lead so in this way you can get started with grammarly a i it's amazing and simple to use plus you get over 99 prompts that you can use every day so that is another great thing that you get to do with grammarly ai plus if you take a look at their features currently if you take a look you have auto citations you can add you have team features available only on the business plan so if you're looking to use this for a larger corporation you do have to upgrade to the business plan on grammarly as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe